Epic glue can be used for any fresh cut, laceration and surgical incision and for the wound closure after the removal of skin lesions. The wound should not bleed anymore and should not be older than 6 hours. If subcutaneous sutures are necessary, they have to be done prior to the application of Epic glue. Because Epic glue closes the skin surface, infection secure only. The length of the wound is of no relevance. If in any exceptional cases it should become necessary to remove the adhesive, it just can be peeled off after polymerization. The wound edges have to be adapted exactly prior to the application of epiglue on the skin surface. We recommend adapting them by pulling as shown. You can make use of special instruments. The better the wound edges get adapted, the better the healing process of the wound takes place without scar formation. Often only a light red line is visible one week after the treatment. In the instructions for use a schematic diagram of a wound treatment is shown. Epic glue is applied to spots where the wound edges are already adapted exactly. After 8 to 10 seconds the adhesive has polymerized already and the wound is securely closed. After the entire wound was covered with epiglue, it is recommended to apply two to three additional layers, each overlapping the other, to avoid epiglue to peel off the healthy skin. Each layer should set for approximately two to three minutes. It is better to apply epiglue in several thin layers than in one thick layer. Avoid contact with instruments, gloves, gauze, swabs and so on to prevent adhesion. The patient's motivity is not restricted and the patient can resume immediately the daily personal hygiene like washing or showering. We recommend putting a band-aid over the polymerized adhesive to avoid that it gets peeled off by clothing. This is also recommended for children or nervous patients. Somehow it is human nature to scratch at the layers especially if the patient is free of pain. This is a recommendation only.